Needham High School's Take Back the Night Club typically has an annual in-person event every November, but much like every other organization, they needed to pivot due to the pandemic. The student members not only had to adjust to virtual learning, they also needed to find a way to continue their efforts while keeping everyone safe. In November 2020, they lit up Needham Town Hall purple, the color to represent domestic violence awareness. Now that they have had time to prepare, they have taken their evening of education and advocacy virtual. Here's Jessica Burks with more. What is the mission of Take Back the Night? So Take Back the Night in Needham, we aim to raise awareness about domestic violence and any sort of sexual abuse in the community, so mostly at the school, um, and then also show support to survivors um, of domestic violence. And why do you think it's so important to have a club and an organization like this present in Needham schools? I think um, dating violence is something, and just relationships in general, um, a lot of high school students are starting to get into these relationships and it is important to talk about healthy relationships and show what unhealthy relationships can look like and really get the conversation started. When we decided in November that we wouldn't be able to have the resources and the time to be able to put on a virtual event like we are now, we still wanted to do something in November in place of our regular event that we pushed off till February. So it was nice to light up the town hall. We moved it to February, which is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. So we thought it still had a, an impactful time to have. But these students have been so committed um, in spite of all of the hurdles and challenges and all of that to keeping the mission and the message of the club alive and out there that um, this idea was something that they jumped on right away. The virtual event featured representatives and a speaker from the Boston Area Rape Crisis Center, performances by local a cappella groups, and Take Back the Night club members read silent witness accounts, stories of those who have lost their lives to domestic violence. Local Representative Denise Garlick and Lieutenant Carroll of the Needham Police Department delivered messages of support as well. Just do your part and help the victims. Give them the advice they need and the support that they need so they can truly get out of an abusive relationship. No one's meant to be a victim. When somebody's been silenced, whether permanently or just because they, they haven't found their voice yet again. I think it behooves those of us that can talk to talk and to show them our support and to show them that they are not forgotten, that they're not invisible, that we as a community expect more of our community and that we can do a lot more for our community. Well, the main point of all the events is kind of to just raise awareness and bring people's attention to a topic that isn't discussed enough and I'm hoping that people are able to even over Zoom get that message and be inspired to continue to educate themselves and educate others on um, domestic violence and sexual assault. And all of these resources are available for survivors regardless of where they are on their journey, um, but they're also available for the people surrounding the survivors, the, the friend of somebody that is doesn't know what to do, doesn't know the first step, doesn't know what is available, that, you know, those are equally important that they avail themselves, the people around people that are victims or survivors of domestic violence, that, that they have those available to them. 